Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors. Today we're at our airfield with the uh, Smart Plane. This is the Mac 3 little Smart Plane, completely ready to fly. It looks like a jet. It does look like a jet. They call it the plane though. And it's brushless, comes with a couple batteries, a charger, everything you need to get this in the air comes in this little box. This might be officially the smallest plane that I've ever flown. It's pretty tiny, but it does a lot of cool things itself. Before we get it in the air, I want to show you what comes in the box. Now you guys know me, if you've watched the channel before, you know I like presentation and this has a very nice presentation. Uh, the box itself is very nice, but not only do you have a super yeah, good looking box. box itself, you have everything in this hard case, which is extremely nice. And it's worth noting that these are probably the best looking instructions I've ever seen. I did take a look at this while my batteries were charging at the house so I could learn the uh, controls a bit. You have stickers in there, a little safety guide. Here's a quick guide, but in this manual, this probably is, and I, I kid you not, I'd say it's the best, detailed, most Goodness. detailed book I've ever seen. They even go as far as showing you um, what their... That looks like a good bathroom read, Nathan. It, it does, yeah, I know. <laughs> They even show you their warehouse and kind of how they make it. It's it's wild. I mean, they have done a wonderful right. job on Plane. this. I know, but definitely worth noting. A lot of guys like knowing that, so super nice. Now in here, we have a very nice Turn hard sideways. case. <clears throat> super nice. You got the foam that's protecting your transmitter and the joysticks, which Everything I like matches. very much. Everything does match on this model. They have three different colors. Over here, we'll start with the charger. Uh, we've got a nice little USB charger. It works just fine. I plugged it in at the Is house. That a micro USB connector. Here? Oh yeah, like sorry. A There's a one. USB and a little mini uh, micro USB. Right? Uh huh. And then it plugs into this little hub. Okay. The hub. This, this is where your USB plugs in. Then you have okay. two on this side and two on this side, and have super bright green lights kick on uh, when they're charged, and then red lights while they're charging. Super super nice. I, I like. I like that a lot. Batteries right there. Yeah, here are the batteries. It did come with two. And there's more slots, a lot One, more two, slots. three, four. So we could have a total of six yeah, batteries. I think awesome. I'll probably get more if I like if I like flying this. Uh, these are one cell, 3.7 volt. They're 200 milliamps each at a 20C discharge rating. I'm guessing we could probably bump up milliamps a tiny bit on there. Um, won't want to go too high, but I'd be willing to try up to maybe like a 400 milliamp or something. Yeah. And I'll show you why in just a second. Over here in this corner we have a uh, little landing gear which I may not install today simply because we're going to be flying on grass. So I don't think I'll put my landing gear on. Spare props, a screwdriver, and then the little springs for the landing gear. But it looks like there are extras in there. I think I've got a total of six wheels. So backup is good. And of course the plane itself. We'll take a look at that. This is really nice. It's a pretty bendy durable feeling foam. I think that's EPO. And uh, we have two servos, a brushless motor. That is a small motor, look at that. I know, it's tiny, but brushless, that 1000 kV brushless. That's very nice. And then we've, it's gonna fly on. Do not touch in it, you touched it. Um, when it's hot. There's, <laughs> they're elevons, just like a pusher prop, kind of, you know, uh, like a delta wing, uh -huh. elevons. And, uh, it's probably going to be a little bit loud, I'd say, because it's a pusher. And then this was interesting. I do want to point this out because I struggled for a second with it. There are little tabs that fold under the foam here, and they put a piece of tape to help hold that on. You pull up on this end, the front end, just a little tricky. It's got a magnet, and then you can fold that back with the tape, and this is where our battery installs. I think, and I haven't tried so this no yet. hinges, it's just tape? I, yeah, it's just tape. So, whoop, there's a fly. Uh, I think... <clears throat> Once we get this plugged in, I believe, see, I, I'd say a little bit bigger of a battery could fit in there. Maybe we go this way? Yeah, let's do it this way. I'll bet just a little bit bigger of a battery would fit in there, I think. Nice. I'd be willing to try that, you know, cool. or if anyone else out there knows, maybe let me know in the comments section, because this is my first flight on this. I like that uh, you said it comes in different colors. I yeah. wonder if the different colors also have the matching case. I will show you. The back of this shows it does. the gray one is matching. The green one, the transmitter matches, but it's a red, white, and blue plane. Oh, okay. okay. Pretty the cool. Gray one I like the orange. Completely. Orange is my favorite. For That's sure. cool. Very, and then very transmitter. Cool. And the transmitter is very unique. Uh, it's got a lot of channels here. We have 
auto up and takeoff, auto down and auto land. We have three flight modes here. The bottom is normal. I believe the middle is somewhat like assisted, like it'll level itself back out. And I'm pretty sure this is a lot of assistance in the top one. And I'm not a 100% not sure what all these do yet. I need to fly it and figure out a little bit of stuff because I've never flown a plane that has features like this. I mean, this is wild. So today, and I'm we'll gonna... have that link down in the description box for you, so you can check out the price right. and all the features that we may be forgetting to mention. I do know that this That's will an... talk to you yeah, and everything. So. Yeah, there is a speaker right there. Self leveling mode. Self leveling mode. It's interesting. Mode selection. Mode selection. Self leveling mode. Self leveling. I'm not sure. I think I need to just start taking it off and see. See what it's gonna do. I've never flown this before, so today's goal is gonna be just see how this does for a first flight. <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna fly it and see how I can handle it. And then I think we're gonna do a little more with this, probably pass the controls over to Abby eventually, see how she does. And I Maybe will... not today, but maybe in another video. Mm -hmm, possibly. We'll <laughs> yes, another video I'd say. And I I'm gonna continue to fly this and learn more about the modes because it's just so unique, it's so cool. I wanna, I wanna cover more of this than just a generic first flight. So That's let's awesome. get this in the air and see how it does and uh, have a little fun with it. I'm, uh, I'm just turning everything on. I, turn, turn the transmitter on, we'll plug our battery in. Calibrating, please wait. Interesting. <laughs> Got the wires tucked in here. Let's get our magnet. I'll uh, level it off here. Maybe it's got to there we go. Oh, hello. That was neat. Ready to take off. Okay, so check this out. See the little... It's trying to... It's not necessarily... there. Okay, it's trying to it level it out a little bit. But then as I twist it fast, like if there was yeah, wind really pushing it, it's trying to level itself back out. So that's cool. Let's give it a little juice. When you juice it, it gives it elevator up, so to help it climb. Very neat. Let's, I'm, I'm very excited. Let's try this out. I think for the takeoff, I was holding it like this, and I felt like maybe my hand would get in the way of the prop. So I'm gonna try a little side launch. Since it has all these auto things, I think I can do it. And I have wind in my back, so I'm gonna go this way. I hope it works, because there's water right there. <laughs> so let's go for it, you ready? I am ready. Whoa! No! It was a little rough. <laughs> let's see if I can get a better takeoff here. First takeoffs are always the worst. It was not great, was it? That was pretty terrible. <laughs> it kind of rolled itself to the right. Can you just juice it and like it kind of get enough power to just try. kind of go yeah. away from your hand Let's instead of throwing? <laughs> Give it more power. That is just going straight. <laughs> what in the world? It's not doing <laughs> <laughs> Normal mode. Yeah, it's in it. Normal mode. <laughs> he did a loop. <laughs> it's not doing anything. That worked. This smart circling is supposed to kick on, Nathan. Are you doing that? Yeah, that's me. That's pretty cool. It's in the air. There, it's, it's banking itself. That's kind of neat. Nathan, why don't you come back here and talk? Okay, so I know I'm really high right now, but it's kind of flying itself for the most part. That takeoff was really cool. Both switches up, and then I held the top right button for it to count down, and then after it counted down, I just let it go. So now I'm going to hit the top left button, and it's going to bring the height down some by five meters. That's cheating. <laughs> it is cheating. What did that say? Go down, go down. So it, is that you pushing? Yeah, the, when I push the direction, it, it talks to me. That's so kind of crazy. I want to turn that off. I think I'm going to hit a couple switches and see if I can. There. So the top right switch 
turned off. I turned it down and it turned her off. <laughs> Which I kind of like, because I don't need her telling me aileron left every time I push aileron left. If I let go of the controls completely, it flies up to a certain height on its own. And then, uh, let's see, it's still climbing. And then it stays there at about 10 meters. Now I can push the top right button and <clears throat> when I do that, it should climb up. Yeah, we're climbing some. So can you ever fly this like a normal plane? Yeah, absolutely. So if I turn off the auto flight mode into middle mode now, it's in self-leveling. So now it's just going to let me turn, right? When I push left and when I let go of left, it keeps it level, which is kind of nice. I like this mode more than the first mode it was And in. then the bottom one on the top left I should have full trigger is mode. normal. Yeah, so let's hit normal mode. Let's hit it now. It says self-leveling mode. The instruction manual I'm said normal. self-leveling, but hmm, it won't What's let me roll one? over. What's this one? Aircraft low power. Aircraft low power, okay. So it's going to actually try to land itself, I think. It's supposed to have auto land, so I'm going to hold top left button and it's bringing itself down now that is it it did this little circle thing on its own i don't want to land right there in the water so i'm going to bring it over <clears throat> let it do its thing well i don't want it to land in the in the uh pond. Well, people want to see in the pond yeah probably is that you that's me yeah it's kind of odd flying that it was uh took me a while to get used to the auto everything on it because uh, I'm not used to something doing that for me. The takeoff took me a while to figure out, but what I did was put both switches in the full up position, and then I held the auto takeoff button. Now, if this plane had its wheels on the ground, I do believe it would have taken off just fine, but I had to kind of do a hand launch, so I held it for the countdown, and when I hit one, when it hit one second, the motor started spinning, and I just let it do its thing, and it climbed right up. It was very easy to fly. Now that I have a better understanding of how it flies I'll probably put in another battery and have a little bit more fun so first flight confusing confusing <laughs> yes very confusing for the first flight but it flew and I like it uh, I, I want to learn more about it so I'm take very it anxious. take the manual to the bathroom Nathan yeah go learn I'm, more I'm very anxious it's telling me to turn this off <laughs> transmitter off it does not juice up so that's good to know but I'm anxious to learn more about it. I want to fly it more, and uh, that's what I'm going to do. So I'll get a few more flights in and try to pass some of the knowledge on to you guys. Uh, for now, first flight, doable, uh, but confusing. <laughs> I think that's the best. That's really the only thing I can say about it right now. If you guys have gotten your hands on this and have some tips, Let me know. leave it yeah. down in the description, like description box. Or if you've seen this and have been interested in it and have questions, ask us some questions or things you want to see it do. Right. Let us know. Yeah. I like that though, it's very neat. I definitely want to fly it again because it's so unique. And that's, you know, unique is good in the RC world. I like that, especially when it works, and it did work. So I like this. Link below. If you guys just want to check it out for yourself. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video.